daily brews. I'm really excited to be back filming these. I'm really excited for this season. I'm excited for the change-ups. How did you guys like the new intro? Let me know down below. And also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell so you guys know every time that the Coast Daily Brew goes up. If you guys haven't seen last season, which was May, of the Coast Daily Brews, basically the whole concept behind this is every single morning one of these videos will pop up and be live. They're anywhere from five to ten minutes, and it's just like a little way to, you know, spend your morning coffee, your morning tea, your morning whatever you do. You can even stretch to these. That was kind of the premise behind behind these ones. I was originally gonna stretch with you guys, but upon trying to film it, it's just, it's hard to film when you're upside down and like talking, you know? So I figured that I would just chat and you guys watching could either stretch, sip, whatever you wanna do, and we would talk about a wide range of topics. And I want this season to be a little bit more themed around, I guess, what comes with stretching and sipping and all that good stuff, but I guess more so just tuning inward and really working on like our inside thoughts and positivity and just July, you know, it's all sunny, it's all happy, it's summer, so I want this to be a light season, I want this to be a fun season, and with that I'm going to be starting the first one on talking about the therapy I did today, which is just totally contradictive to what I just said. Actually, that's a lie. I feel like my therapy session today in particular was actually a really good one. If you guys don't know, I do therapy online and it's basically kind of like FaceTiming your therapist or like Skyping your therapist. And today we were talking about a wide range of things, but there was a lot of things that she said that just really stuck out to me and really helped me. And I kind of want to talk about it today because I feel like it can be really helpful for anyone out there that's also watching. I went to my therapist today and I told her that honestly and truthfully, the last month, aka the month of June, while it's been an amazing month, it has been an extremely overwhelming month. And I've felt very emotional, I've felt very overwhelmed, and I had two panic attacks. And I haven't had any panic attacks at all in 2019, so I was feeling very then defeated and just really like kind of, I guess just frustrated for a little bit that it didn't even happen because I just didn't want, I wanted to go the whole year, you know? Anyways, I'm over it, I'm cool with it, I've like rolled with the punches, but I was just telling her that I've just been feeling so overwhelmed and one of the comforting things that she told me right away was that she's noticing a pattern where a lot of the people that she's talking to right now are feeling the exact same way. She said word, word for word, okay? My therapist in general, she's got her PhD, she's a very, very well-educated woman, um, but she said that it's got to be something in the cosmos and that she didn't want to talk too frou-frou, but that she feels like there's something bigger going on because everybody tends to be feeling very overwhelmed right now. And it's a common theme and I think that it's also just a common thing we're seeing nowadays because we're bombarded with a lot more opportunity, a lot more messages coming our way, a lot more just things than we ever were before. Before it used to take a while for someone to get a hold of you or it, you know, it wasn't so complicated. Like you had your job, you had your home, you did your job, you went home, you did your home stuff and whatever. And so now I feel like not that the world has maybe gotten more complicated, but it's definitely, I don't know, I just feel like it's its very common that a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed nowadays. And it's basically the point I'm trying to get at here. So if you are feeling a little bit more overwhelmed than usual, then you're going to like today's episode because there's a quite a bit of things that she said in particular that stuck with me. The one thing that I feel like she said that made me feel the best was... She asked me the last time I felt very calm and content, and for me it was the week leading into June. Why? Well, the week leading into June I felt like I not only had made a plan, but I stuck to it. Like I felt like I knew what I had to do that week, 
I knew what I needed to get done and I made my routine for the week and woke up and literally just crushed it. Like I crushed it out of the park, I did it all and it felt like everything was going smooth sailing. And that's really easy to do when there's not a lot of things that are asking for your attention. It's easy to kind of just wake up and do what you gotta do. But when things started to get rocky was when things that are outside of you know my control or your control start to need our attention. There were trips I had to go on, I had to go back and forth for weddings and stuff, and these are all things that make me really happy, but they're also objectively, when you take yourself out of the equation and you look at it like number-wise, you're not gonna have as much time to put all your eggs in like your work basket or your goals basket when you need to start putting your eggs into other baskets, like going back home and spending time with friends and family and you know being in weddings and just doing all of these things that I'm really, really excited about, but that also just automatically it means that you have to divide your time better. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I just think me as an individual, I get hard on myself because I think I can do it all without having to divide my time, and that's my problem. Anyway, getting back to the point, she asked me, when, what was the feeling like? Like, what did it feel like? And it didn't really make any sense, but my response was that I felt sunny. And I think it was because it just felt like one big long summer day. It felt like one big sunny, sunny day where I was just getting things done and I was in a good mood and I was just kind of rolling with the punches. And she told me to, one, try and basically feel it emotionally, feel it physically, visualize it, hear it, what it all felt like, because anytime I'm not feeling that way or the overwhelm starts to hit me, I can bring myself back to that happy place or back to the feeling that I had when it felt like everything was basically running smoothly. Because a lot of the times it's not that things aren't even running as smoothly anymore, it's just that your perception of things has kind of changed. You think things are going out of control or spinning out of control when really it's just that there's more on your plate. And that's okay and you're getting it all done, but if you trick yourself into thinking you're not getting it all done, then it's gonna be 10 times harder, you're gonna wanna give up, you're gonna wanna like panic, whatever. So first thing is that to ask yourself, how were you feeling the last time you felt really happy content or just however you wanted to feel when was the last time you felt that way what was the surrounding just like word or mantra and then you can use that and i think that that's super important and really helpful but the other thing that we talked about oh shit i had another point i had another point i'm going to use this uh, moment to pause and take a sip feel free to the other thing that we talked about was just mantras in general and i brought up the fact that i don't check my horoscope every day like i kind of used to but for some reason this morning i did and it spoke to me in the way that it was basically saying that I can have the life that I want if I can basically anchor my brain or give my brain a task or a mantra to sync to that really resonates with me. So it isn't just about the like, I feel sunny because instantly when I say I feel sunny, I think of sunlight, I think of the, like golden yellow, I think of like my papa for whatever reason, but I just feel really happy and like energetic and full of just, just energy, you know? But in terms of the longevity of life and where I'm trying to go, the other problem I've been having lately is feeling like I know exactly what I want out of my life. Like I know exactly how I want my life to turn out, but I guess it's hard for me to take little incremental steps there. It's hard for me to not just be like, I just want to get there now and until I get there, like, am I ever going to feel like anything's like good enough? And so one of the things that she said, and it was like off topic of from this, but we tied it back in was I'm getting there or is it I'm getting there or I'm making my way there. I'm going to go check just to be sure I don't mess this up. The mantra is in fact, I am getting there. And the reason why it just really just stuck with me, I guess, is just the thought that like, Every day that you feel like that little task that just seems so annoying or so overwhelming or like you feel like you're doing all of these little things but it doesn't feel like it's feeding into your big thing and you're starting to feel hopeless, remind yourself like I'm getting there. Every little step we take is still getting there. It's still bringing you closer and I feel like that reminder or even just putting that in your brain like I am getting there gives your brain the relief of like oh, this is not for no reason, this is not pointless, like this is feeding into the fact that we, as a whole, like mind, body, all of that good stuff, is getting there. And that mantra mixed with the fact of, I feel sunny, I feel like those two things literally took so much weight off of me today, and already at the end of that session, and already just coming into filming with you guys today, like I just feel, I feel better. So. Yeah, that's my story for the day, my clothes daily for the day. I just 
felt like, you know, word vomiting off of, I guess, the conversation I had with my therapist because it was really helpful. And if any of you guys are out there and you're feeling like similarly, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you know what you want, but for some reason it just feels like you don't have the energy or the inspiration to take those little baby steps to get there, just ask yourself what you felt like the last time you felt really happy and content. And then also just remind yourself that you're getting there. You're going to get there. You just have to keep going. You have to just keep doing it. Keep making those little baby steps and know that it isn't always going to feel amazing and it isn't always going to feel crappy either. It's going to be a mixture of both, but either way, it's all just like getting there. All right, I'm gonna end my hand motions for the day and leave you guys there. I hope you guys enjoyed the first Coast Daily back and I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.